Salam, salam. This is Unity. I'm here to do a black business spotlight haul. Okay, I got about five or six businesses I'm going to talk about. Um, The first thing I want to show y'all is this Garner's Garden. Oh my God. This stuff works so good. It's a little tiny bit of this left. And ain't nothing in here left. But I do have some tooth powder. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Okay. Um, this company is Garner's Garden. It's owned by a brother. And this is it. And when I tell you I love this. This is really good. If you know what oil pulling means. Um, I did a video on my other channel. I put a, a note up here and a link in the description box and check that out. But oil pulling is something that our people have been doing for a long, long time. You know how black people and indigenous people have been doing things for a long, long time. And then the world get it and then they forget where it originated at. And But oil pulling is like you could get an oil. I mean, people use coconut oil, sesame seed oil, olive oil before they brush in the morning they would swish it in their mouth and once they swish it in their mouth they spit it out but they can't swallow it because what it does it pull all the toxins out your body so with this he created oil pulling a natural oil pulling and what's in here is um grade two percent grade a um, activated charcoal, uh, peppermint, metaluca, and which is tea tree oil, and I think it's some essential oil. So that's the oil pulling. And to be honest, I really, really like this. I'm gonna order this again. I'm gonna order this whole thing again. And the mouthwash was really good. Um, I got the normal strength. And it prevents cavities, tooth decay, kill odor, bacteria, and repels plaque. The thing that I liked about, um, I like about his products, I love peppermint, but it was a little strong, but I didn't care. So I think he had, um, I think he had some, I think he had some like normal, um, sensitive. I think he got sensitive, so you can't deal with the peppermint, the mini, you know. That is, these are the two items that I used up. So y'all check out Garners. It's www.garners.garden.com. Y'all should see it across the screen. So yeah, I really, 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 really like these. Okay, with those two, I just supposed to brush your teeth with the mouthwash. You put this in your mouth and then you get a scoop of the um, tooth powder and put it in. It was too hot. I couldn't do it. I tried. I couldn't do it. But so when I did use the tooth powder sometimes, I would gargle with this. My mouth was just too hot. But like I say, he have um, this in a sensitive uh, formula, strength. So with the um, tooth powder, it removes plaque. It's natural whitening. I do like this. But it burns. It don't burn. It don't burn as bad. I'm going to use it. It's not to the point, but I did use some. And like I say, the way he say do it is you put that in and the mouthwash and then you brush. You, mainly you have that mouthwash and this in your mouth and you brush it. But it was a little too, too many when I do it. But I done did it. So I'm going to use this up. I'm going to just do it. And it does make a mess, so... It does make a, a mess, but it's easy clean up. But yeah, this, like it says, it says pour um, Garner's Garden antibacterial mouthwash, a spoonful, a one fourth of a spoonful of tooth powder into mouth. Switch for 20 seconds with mouth. Close, brush teeth at least two minutes. Spit, rinse. In the mouthwash so that's the way he say do it and this right here got bentonite clay it is aluminum aluminum free it got white clay activated charcoal neem powder peppermint powder 
And you do not swallow this. And you do not swallow none of these right here. So that is that. So y'all check out Garner's Garden. I like that. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's a reasonable price too. Next, I want to show y'all this dress. I got this dress from Mom, Mama Yashi. I think I'm saying that right. Mama Yashi. That's the company. And the reason why I really, really wanted to order this dress was because um, mainly if you order from Mama Yashi, Mama Yashi, if you order, it goes. 10% of the money, the profits goes towards establishing a holistic domestic violence shelter in Jamaica. And they um, offer abuse women a safe net and a chance to restore their lives. Supposedly in Jamaica, there's a lot of domestic abuse where women need a place to stay and all that. So that's so dope. So um, she has like, she has when she make her collections once they are made you, you can't get it again so i don't know if y'all can get this dress again but go on the website um it's mamayashi.com www.mamayashi.com we are women are magical women are strong women are leaders women are love and this company been in business since 2005 and I always wanted one of her dresses. I finally got one. I ordered this like in the last year, beginning of this year, in the last year. And I ordered it for a photo shoot that I'm doing, an earring photo shoot that I'm finally doing. And I haven't worn this yet. So this is Mama Yashi. If y'all check her out on Instagram and all those places, this is the Lioness collection. Is it? I don't know if this is the Lioness collection. I think this is. Well, let's say 2018, so I did get it. I'm, I guess I did order. I can't remember when I ordered. Oh, but let me show you the dress. This is the dress. And you know what? This is a medium. Um, I think her mediums is, I think, eight, six, eight. I can't remember. I can't remember what a medium was. But this might be a little, it, it don't look like it, but I, when I tried it on, it might be a little big around here but don't that's no worry I could get that fixed but it's Marcus Garvey right there and then it's long y'all long go all the way down but it is gorgeous material so I'm gonna see if I can stand up and show y'all but I don't have you can't really but you see if I can show y'all I'm short so it's really my feet is being covered. So this might be a little big, but I think they say this size could go up to 10. So this might be a little stretchy around here, but I could get one of my home girls to um, take it in. Cause I love two, two, I love two, um, two top dresses, but I love them to be real, real long. So this is long and it is gorgeous. All right. So if y'all donate, if y'all order for Mama Yashi, You'll, you'll be doing a good service by helping. And this dress, I think this dress was like $99. And sometimes if you follow her Instagram, she had like 20% off and all that. And most of these companies are having sales for the holidays. I don't know if she is because I haven't checked. I need to go check and see what she got new. I want to get at least about two more dresses for her from her. So that is that. Put this down. So y'all check out Mama yashi.com what else I need to show y'all oh I can show y'all this this is um uh what is it called a kickstarter I was a part of a kickstarter for brown sugar fairies and it's a black fairy and um I don't know if y'all follow me, but I did a video and I was doing Stranger Comics. I was doing this this elf named Nairobi. I'll put the link so y'all can check that video out. Well, the guy that started um, Sebastian, 
that's that's over um, Stranger Comics and the Nairobi series with Amanda Steinberg. This is his wife book, so I supported the Kickstarter. And it's just some. It's called Brown Sugar Fairies, and in here, it's just say um, a special thank you to my daughter. Alonza, Sebastian, and Stranger Comics team. But most of all, to each and every one of you who supported through the Kickstarter to help the fairy tale spread. Fairy tale spread wings and fly. Um, Aisha Sinclair. I love fairies, mermaids, unicorns, stuff like that. So. She sent this. And with this Kickstarter, I got like a PDF for the coloring book, which I'm going to still buy the coloring book because she said she got some more stock. It's the PDF for the coloring book. Um, I got some... What else I got? I think I got some... Um, what do you call it? Wallpaper. And I got the book in PDF too on top of the hardback book. And this is a nice way to put together book. That'd be a dope tattoo, right? I might have to get her as a tattoo. Um, so this is the book. And it's mainly about when Peppa grandfathers take ill, her mama sent her to work at a local market. In a shop full of old mysteries, she finds a book which hides magical secrets and one real live flower fairy. The fairy name is Saroji, Saroja is on a quest to find the stolen sacred lotus flower that protect her magical world. When Pepper learns that the lotus has a gift of healing, oh my god, I haven't even read this yet. She has a difficult choice to help her newfound friends share her home or use it share, save her home, I'm sorry, save her home or or use the use the last of its power to cure her grandfather. So it's um, the illustrations and by Joycelyn. If I can't pronounce her name right, but I could just show y'all some of it. Some of the illustrations. I haven't even read this yet. I went. I think by the time when this came, I was. Getting ready to have surgery and all that. But, oh, look at that artwork. That little African man. <laughs> but I'm going to read it. This going to be dope. I'm going to read it. It's pretty, a pretty long book. It seems like this gonna, this could be like a, a series of books. Like a little movie, too. But, yeah. So, if you have any little brown girls... Oh, look at that. How pretty that is. Ain't that gorgeous? Yes. She pretty. Yeah, I gotta um get into this book. And let me show y'all the author. Oh, it's some more artwork. Look, y'all. I think she got this on her Instagram, that picture. But let me show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all a picture of her. Oh, yeah, this is gorgeous. This would be so dope as a back, uh, um, a back tattoo. Ain't that beautiful? Gorgeous. Blackness is just so dope. The cotton fairy. And this is the illustrator. This is the sister that wrote it. And this is the illustrator. Two women of color. This is dope. You, you, my darling, are magic. I wrote a children's book. I don't know if y'all know that. It's called Three Little Queens. Um, maybe I'll give a, do a giveaway on it. You can get it online. Um, if you put in Three Little Queens by Khadija Shabazz, it should come up. But yeah, this is dope. So if you got a little girl and you like little fairies, I'm a grown woman. I love little fairies. So, so I thank you, Aisha Sinclair, for creating this book. And I hopefully it'll be a series. I need to get into this book. I got a couple of books I got to get into. So I showed y'all that. I showed y'all that. What else I gotta show y'all? Oh, I can't show y'all this. Matter of fact, let me show y'all. I got it on. <laughs> this is a waist bead. Let me show y'all. Oops. I don't want to show my goodness. 
but this is made out of citrine and I done had this I ordered it when I had my surgery my um a biblical hernia surgery and when I tell you the sister that made this I don't know what kind of dope healing energy she got in her because literally I had my surgery on May 31st when I went back on June the second, I had lost 11 pounds and I didn't do nothing. I had, I, I had, I didn't do one thing. And I know this had a part because I, I eat, but I noticed like if I'm sick like that, I gain weight and then literally it just go away by itself. So yeah, this got citrine on it, and it got this. I had to get this because it had the scare protection, and I wear, been wearing this every day since my surgery every day i just took it off y'all so i'm gonna put it back on oh yeah let me show y'all this it has a um an extender too so if you do gain weight or lose weight so i say get it like i did get this a little too big because when i was um i had gained weight and then once i healed it so I did get it a little big, but I'm kind of glad I got it a little big. I'm kind of glad because I did get a stender on it. But I, to be honest, I have to put it way up here. So I'm going to order another, some more from her. On top of that, this is the company right here. It is called Wrap and Soul Handmade Waist Beads. And I'm gonna, all the information will be down below. Well, in the description box, because I don't want to say down below and YouTube change what's going on. So that's, this is the waist bead. And what waist beads are used for? It can be for healing. It can be for weight. It could be for fertility. It's a lot of different um, reasons why indigenous women wear waist beads. Waist beads been a part of our culture for ever waist beads and yoni eggs and stuff like that so I, I always had my waist beads on this sister had made me some beautiful waist beads it was like in sterling silver and this um sacred stone and i wouldn't take it off that's when i had my fibroid surgery i'm gonna take it off and i end up popping it just that was beautiful but it's another sister i got some waist beads from i, I did a i think i showed her here on black business spotlight and she don't start back making. I don't know if she ever stopped making them, but I ended up giving those two waist beads to my sister because at the time I couldn't fit them. So now uh, I wish I could get them back. <laughs> nah, she. I don't even know if she. She probably do wear them. Oh, well, they was really dope. So I'm uh, um, I want to get another one from her, and then I want I'm gonna, I want to at least get about two more from her. But y'all, she got some dope ones, and she it take about I thought, about two weeks to get, but it's so dope. It, it's so worth it. Okay, let me show y'all another company. This is a necklace that I got from this company right here called Ancient Aura Jewelry, Adore Your Soul. And it got a 20% off code. I don't know if that's... Oh, oh it's expired, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's expired. But this is the affinity necklace, which I like. Let me show y'all. See, this is the affinity necklace. And they got a, I, I love scarabs. Um, let me show y'all how it go. Cause I got one for my sister too. I gave her one too. Got two. In this particular company, they have some beautiful you can wear it like that you can wear it like you take this up and wear it like this but it got the infinity symbol and then or you can wear it just down like this and then it got the scarab it's so dope so dope i haven't even worn this yet y'all i might wear it um, Tuesday because I have an event to do. Yeah. So you could you could even wear it down like that. Or you can take this to the back. Y'all know I'm real creative. 
I take it to the back and do like a back um, picture. Yeah. So that is that. And it was very reasonable. I don't know if they they still have it, but I like it. Oh, and these earrings come from Janelle Jewelry. I featured her on Black Men Spotlight before. Um, I had these earrings for years now. Probably like three or four years. I still got them. They're pretty up. So that is this from Ancient Oil Jewelry. They have some dope pieces. They have, um, they had a nice um, Elijah Muhammad piece. They um, have a lot of Nefertiti. I want to get one of Nefertiti necklace along with the, um, they got a lion necklace. I want to get my son. They got some nice pieces, y'all. Nice pieces. Like this is dope because I have a connection with this affinity sign. Tell them a black woman. And I love scares. Y'all see I got my waist bead on. So, um, what's next? I can show y'all. Oh, I can show y'all this. I can show y'all these. These. And these are made by Moha. And I think I showed y'all this before. I'm doing the 100, 100 art pieces for 2018. So this is the front. And then this is the back. And the side. Oh, I have on the back. And then you, it's not lined, it's laminated. In the in here, so you could even use you could even use this to put your makeup in. So they're made to order. They're made to order. So these are listed on the website www.boeva.etsy.com or www.boeva.com or knoisdesigns.com. And here go another one. My black is dope. Is she cute? And then this back, I haven't signed the back, I gotta sign the back of this. And then, this right here is just a piece of paper when I was creating. So this, this one is not laminated in the inside. So this, this one to be more, um, for like if you want to use it for like toiletry and makeup bag, this one right here. But... I these two designs will be on different ones. It'll always be these main two designs, and uh, maybe one more. Um, my black is dope, and um, the village. So these two bags I made, y'all. I made it. All right. So that shows y'all that that, and what else I need to show y'all. Oh, I can show y'all this. I got a big old package from this sister. Um, let me tell you her company name. Oh, let me get the card out. Um, I met this sister on Instagram, and her name is em Empress Miss Empress Green Jewels. That's her information. So this is I'm gonna show y'all the first thing she sent me, and the first one of the first things that my spirit um, just went to. I put these earrings on, and to be honest, I got this package a couple of days ago, and I've been wearing these earrings ever since because I have a strong divine connection to this. Look like amethyst. If this not amethyst. I don't know. I make purple stones, but it really looked like amethyst. So, I've been wearing these. I just took them off not too long ago. See my amethyst ring? So, yeah. So, she made these. Look how pretty they are. And let me show you how they look, y'all. Look how pretty they are. Harper. Yeah, I'm really connected to um, amethyst stones. 
also she sun a hat she made I have to make sure I can get in it but she saw this red black and green hat that go with my dress might have to rock that with my dress I done had a couple of these but my locks like got so big that I can't wear them so hopefully I could get my hair in this because look at this this is a tool so hopefully I can get my hair in this if not I can pass it to someone that will really appreciate it like one of my own subscribers look how dope that is y'all yeah she I, this hand she said this was handmade everything is handmade okay let's see what else in here oh those rose quartz y'all why they look like amethyst i'm looking for them in my ear she said they rose quartz Some hematite oral earrings. Really cute. Ooh. Ain't them pretty? I'm gonna put it up there. I'm gonna put one of them up here. Oh, I'm just dropping. Cute, right? Thank you, sis. See how pretty that is? See y'all? And then I could put the other. I got a lot of holes in my ear. I'm finna get an industry. Industrial. Is it industry? A chakra ankle bracelet. Oh wow, this is so pretty. And it's made out of copper. And then it got healing stones all the way around it. And let me see. See the clamp? Would it fit my ankle? Cause my ankle thick. So my ankle thick. I got some big old legs to be a small lady. Yeah, it went right on. Can't really show y'all. <laughs> y'all see it? <laughs> I don't want to show my legs like this, but y'all see it? It's on. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Um, the next thing is a hematite, and it look like tiger's eye. You like tiger? That's pretty. That's really pretty. Y'all seen the hematite? What is it? Look like tiger's eye. A lot of stones be looking similar. this stuff but I put it back in because I've been so busy and I just re-looking at it again. Y'all know I love mermaids and it's a stone. I forgot what stone it's called. Um, Y'all see how pretty that is? I mean she got it on copper. Oh yeah. So pretty. Y'all gotta go check this sister out. She's a 
is gorgeous. Yeah, the book is gorgeous. And then here go another, here go copper rain. Pretty. And then I like the way her rings are made because you can like squeeze them to fit you. And I remember seeing this stone. Oh wow, it is so pretty. This is really me. It's wrapped in carpet. I remember, I can't remember the name of the stone, but I think it started with a K. I'll put it across the screen, y'all. It is pretty. I think it's like healing protection or something like that. Most stones are from what it. Got some here. Oh, she gave me some tools. I forgot about them. Make some hair tools. Oh, I could fit this. I could fit this. some hair tools. This is pretty. This will go some of my earrings. So you need this hair tool. She sell a lot of different things on her website, y'all. So y'all go check her website out. This is so pretty. I can rock this. I can rock this. Thank you, sis. Um. It's something else that she sent me, but I don't have it over here, so let me go run and get it. I'm in my work area, y'all. Dope is that it is a unicorn ring holder, and this is another ring. This look like Tiger's Eye, too. That she son. See that? And then you put your little ring on it. Little ring holder, and you can always sit rings around here, too. So cute, and it's a unicorn. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Yeah, this is beautiful. Like I said, I like the way her her rings are made because you could like push them, push them to fit you. Look how pretty that is. That is that. Also, she created this Pretty Virgin Empress hairline accessory. Um, African Queen Natural Body Oil. It has almond oil, it has avocado oil, castor oil, cocoa butter, shea butter, argan oil, may contain, contain dry herbs, fragrance, essential oils, rose petals, rosebud, and random healing stones. Real good. We in Florida, man. We I got some dry skin. Real dry. Florida got that hard water. Well, you know, people like Florida water for spiritual reasons, but boy, you gotta go down south to get it. Cause this Florida water here, you get the hard water. Oh, there's some good energy up in this right here. 
I could do some put my hands, some my healing Reiki hands on somebody. Oh, since this smells really good, and I like the fact because me coconut oil, I could use coconut oil like on my body, but I can't put it in my face. It breaks my face out, and she don't have coconut oil in here. This is good. I'm gonna be like. When this run out, I'ma buy it, especially when I I gotta do a deep, I gotta do a um vinaigrette on my locks. I'ma put some of this in my hair. She said for your body, but I'm putting some of this in my hair because I could use some of this stuff up in here. This is really good. It smells so good, y'all. My word is bond. I'm always looking for a good oil. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. the next thing and the last thing that she's sung, I think I'm forgetting something that somebody sung me, but I could always do another black business spotlight because there's a whole bunch of black businesses that we can support. It's this facial cleanser. It's lavender oatmeal. It has organic sugar, mango butter, um, shea butter, neem oil, and it may contain dry uh, herbs, food safe coloring do not use if you have an allergic reaction to nuts or fish and this is this it's a clay and my son you see the fingerprint my son put some on his face y'all already so this is a natural clay that she made Thank you, sis. And y'all go support her. I put all her information across the screen. And also, is I think she's sent me a 20% a 20% up um, coupon. And I just want to bring this to y'all attention. When y'all go to her website, she does have those earrings that look like they AliExpress earrings. But she assured me that she did not get them from AliExpress. She said that she got them from a wholesale, a sister that's a wholesale, wholesaler. So she and the sister got them, did get them from China, but not AliExpress. So when I went to her site and I seen that, so I know some of my subscribers might go to her site and see that she has some of those AliExpress earrings. She did, did not purchase them. She purchased them from a sister that got them from China. <laughs> all right, y'all, but support all these businesses or one of them or any other black business that you can. I've been doing Black Business Spotlight. Oof. I've been on YouTube since like what oh seven i've been on youtube for a long time oh wait no 40 i've been on youtube way before then i've been on youtube a long time i can't remember so i've been doing black business spotlights as long as i've been on youtube this is nothing new i've always been promoting black business spotlight matter of fact when i first started doing black business spotlights it was this thing i called I did a sisterhood giveaway. I did. I used to do it every year. I might bring those back. The sisterhood giveaways. They was fun. And what sisterhood means to you and stuff like that. I might bring those back. Those videos got deleted. Um, I deleted them. But I think I might want to bring them back. Sisterhood giveaways. I used to do it every year. If y'all comment below if y'all remember those videos. This video right here is at 40 minutes. So y'all had a whole show. And if y'all watched it to the end, thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit your notification button and follow me on all my other social medias, which I am on Twitter. I don't tweet that much, but I am on Twitter. Um, I'm on Facebook. Um, I go on Facebook daily, just check when I'm not like on there all the time. And you can also check, but I'm always on Instagram. Instagram is my number one social media. And then YouTube. <laughs> All right, y'all. But also, don't forget to go to my website, www.boeva.com. And then I have a 20% coupon code, Beloved20. And that ends on Tuesday. All right? All right. So long, so long.